Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, 95 days on carnivore. I haven't done an update video in about two weeks. And if you watched the last video, I'll link it up above um, and in the description, but I was ready to stop. I was ready to give up on carnivore. I was ready to quit. I was ready to just go back to just doing the normal eating whatever I wanted. Um, I disguised it by saying I was ready to go keto or a keto vor or something like that. But in reality, I was just done. I was ready to stop altogether. And I don't know. The last two weeks, something just clicked. Um, my mental clarity has finally started to kick in, I guess. Uh, I feel the best I have in a long time. I've um, so spoiler alert: I didn't quit. I didn't. I actually buckled down even more. Um, pretty much went to OMAD for the last two weeks um, with some occasional two-day meal, meals twice a day mixed in there. Um, I've tried to stay off the scale as much as I could, and. Um, it seems like that's helped me a little bit. I've jumped on there once or twice and you know, but I haven't let it bother me like I had before. Um, a lot of times people ask me why I quit the carnivore diet or why I even started the carnivore diet. And for many, their reasons are they wanted to get healthy. They wanted to get rid of some autoimmune issues. They wanted to do all these other things. And for me, the reason I started the carnivore diet was simple. I saw people talk about that they lost a bunch of weight and I wanted to do that. Um, weight loss is and will be my number one goal with whatever I decide to do moving forward. Um, and carnivore seemed like with all the videos that I watched that it was something that I could stick with the best. Obviously that wasn't the case. So I'm pushing through this time, hoping that I can hold on to it um, a little bit longer. Many people will tell you that weight loss is not a good reason to do carnivore. If you don't struggle with other issues, autoimmune issues, um, then you shouldn't really do carnivore. I mean, I don't have anything diagnosed, I suppose. I have a lot of inflammation. Um, Y'all know I have a lot of back problems, stuff like that. So I guess we could say that I have a few things going on that carnivore technically could help with. So that's why I do carnivore. Don't I don't want it ever to be for people to think that I'm doing it for a reason other than weight loss. A lot of the suggestions and things like that that I get whenever I post videos like I want to quit or I need your help or something like that people want to automatically tell me, well, don't worry about the scale, don't worry about your weight, uh, get healthy first. And I 100% understand that. Um, but when weight loss is my number one goal, it's hard for me not to focus on that. See what I'm saying? So in the last two weeks, like I said, something's finally started to click. My brain has finally hit whatever wire it needed to hit to where it was almost like I was just sailing. Um, been eating OMAD for the most part, and it seemed to have helped with cravings, um, with boredom, with um, like boredom eating. I was I was always one that was really bad for sitting on the couch, just watching TV, and be like, man, I I really could use something to eat. Even though I wasn't hungry, even though I wasn't needing food, it was just, I was bored and wanted something to do. So I've tried my best to get rid of that aspect. Um, as y'all know, I've been going to the gym. I haven't missed a day of the gym in two weeks. Um, so I've been going Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whether it be get up early and go before work or come home and um, eat dinner or whatever and go right after. Um, Workouts have been good. I've, I've been really sore, and that's a good thing. And on average, I'm burning a lot of calories. Um, 
and it seems to be helping um, with my mental state, with my emotional state, with my physical state. Everything seems to be working. I'm get, I can tell I'm already getting stronger. I can tell that I'm getting more endurance. Um, and then put work on top of that. Um, you know, I told you guys that on average, whenever I'm at work on a busy day, it's easy for me to hit 14 plus, 15 plus thousand steps fairly quickly in a day. And the other day we worked and by, I believe noon, I had sent my wife a message and said I'm already at 10,000 steps. So um, I'm anxious to see how everything progresses over the next three to four to five months. Uh, my goal is to still hit 250 pounds um, this year. Um, originally, I would have wanted to hit that by April, uh, by my 35th birthday. It may happen, it may not. I'm not going to stress over it if it doesn't. I'm just, that's my goal. 250 pounds and um, to be healthy-ish. <laughs> Uh, because that wasn't my main goal in the beginning. Health was not an option because I didn't see myself as unhealthy. Until, as y'all know, the last few months, I've been dealing with some blood work issues. And I am proud to report that this morning I got a phone call and I was told that all of my blood work, all of my blood work, is fine and within normal ranges so they pointed out that my thyroid panel came back completely normal and they pointed out that my a1c came back completely normal and um to me that's a win that's a huge win now i can't contribute everything to carnivore um because a lot of this stuff came on while i was doing carnivore um, I contributed it to a lot of prayer first and foremost and but I do I do think that it would have been different had I still been on the sad diet the standard American diet eating pizza every night bread cheese sticks whatever I was eating so 95 days in we're five away from 100 uh i'm gonna do a weigh-in at 100 days so next week we're gonna do a weigh-in and i know i said i was gonna do some measurements i just haven't had time to sit down and i really i don't think right now that measurements i mean i get they would give me a baseline but honestly with working out and the, and the measurements that i care about so chest arms and waist um the only thing that I could hopefully see go smaller is my waist because I'm hoping my chest and my arms start to kind of swell up a little bit. <laughs> but maybe not. I don't know. Um, but at 100 days, we're going to do a weigh-in. Um, so five days from today, we're going to weigh in and we're going to see where we're at. And we're going to be happy no matter what the scale says. If I've you know lost five pounds, if I've lost two pounds heck even if i've gained a pound or two we're going to be happy with where we're at and we're going to keep going because right now and what i've learned in this last two weeks and i guess what's finally clicked in my brain is that i feel awesome um i've i've just had this aha moment to where i'm realizing what i'm eating um i'm eating when i want to eat and I'm eating however much I want to eat. And when I'm full, I stop eating. I actually put a plate of food back on the table, not before last, because my eyes were bigger than my belly. This last two weeks, I've just had this kind of like awakening to where I'm not so focused on the scale, but more focused on how I feel. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm looking more at, am I feeling bloated today? Am I feeling kind of, um, you know, depressed today? Am I feeling a little anxious today? How am I feeling? And over the last two weeks, all those feelings, because I've kind of stopped worrying about the scale, the anxiety, the, the depression, the anger, the frustration with the scale has kind of went away. And I've had more ability and more time to think and focus on, oh, wow, my stomach's not as bloated. Oh, wow, I don't have headaches as much. Oh, wow, that 
pain that I had in my back for a little while has finally started to go away. So the endurance, the, the overall just feeling of happiness, this, these past two weeks have really kind of pushed me along to be like, no, you're gonna stick with this and you're gonna see this goal through. Um, I've always been one that has a hard time sticking with something until I've met the goal um, in everything that I've ever done. I always, I have amazing in intentions. I have great ambition, but when it comes down to it, midway through, I get defeated something comes up and I allow myself to get defeated and I really want this time for this to come out being a testimony to others that hey if I can do it you can do it and you know these videos are just diaries for me of what I've done and how I've been feeling and what that process has looked like is carnivore a lifelong um, goal of mine no not really but it's teaching me a better relationship with food I've had a really good two weeks. It's been a really good two weeks. So if you're struggling, if you're having a hard time, just sit back, reevaluate, and push forward. Don't, don't do like what I wanted to do and give up. Definitely don't do that. Push forward, continue the fight, and start to kind of evaluate the things that might be holding you back. Um, me worrying about the scale is what was holding me back. Uh, me worrying about the scale was keeping me anxious. Me worrying about the scale was maybe even keeping me from eating enough food. Um, when I would not see the scale move, maybe I wouldn't eat as much to be full, but I would eat and be like, oh, that should be enough. I, sh I shouldn't eat anymore subconsciously. I wouldn't necessarily be full, but because I knew the weight in my head wasn't where I wanted it to be, I would stop eating a little bit early or I would not eat quite enough food that day to keep me going so i don't know what do you guys think how's your journey going are you doing well are you sticking to the diet are you making modifications to fit, fit your lifestyle to fit your needs um are you listening to your body's cues on telling you what it needs and doesn't need or how it feels or all of these things um that i think that i've been missing out on on the last 90 well 80 some days that I wish I had been focusing on throughout that entire period. And I know a lot of you guys told me, a lot of you said, stop looking at the scale. And I get it. I get it now. But in the beginning, I was like, but that's my goal. That's my, you know, at that time, that was my why. So here we go. Here's to 100 days. We got five more days to go. We'll check back in with you when we're weighing and kind of let you know what I'm thinking. All right. I appreciate all of you for your support. If you're new around here, Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Push me along in this journey. Keep me accountable. All that good stuff. Um, there's links down there if you want to check them out. Um, that's another way to support the channel. If not, that's fine too. I'm going to keep doing this regardless. We're starting back work full time, so videos may come and go. Uh, big announcement got a bed topper coming from a truck bed we're going to do some camping this sp this spring and this summer me and the old pup we're going to get out in the woods and do some truck camping and some carnivore cooking so alright guys that's it we've talked too much I appreciate y'all for watching y'all stick with me we'll see what we can do thanks guys God bless